Is it too late to save our reefs? Coral reefs are found all around the world. Florida has the third largest coral reef system. Why are the coral reefs so important? Coral reefs play an important role not only in the ecosystem, but also our economy. It can be worth millions of dollars. A healthy coral reef has thousands of different organisms that live and are entirely dependent off of them. They're meant to absorb the energy produced by the waves, which also protect our coastlines from beach erosion. Whenever my family and I go out diving, the reefs aren't as active or bright colored. Most of it is lifeless and dead. Numerous scientists are coming together, collecting data and forming programs to better understand and help prevent the decline of coral reefs. A more recent solution to restore the coral reefs has been the placement of artificial reefs. Thankfully, Florida Fish Wildlife Conservation has placed rules and regulations in order to preserve the coral reefs. Coral reefs, not only in Florida, are endangered and potentially no longer exist due, the, due to the climate change, ocean acidification, and runoffs. It would be devastating if coral reefs were lost entirely because of our careless mistakes. Some major changes need to be done before it is too late. Coral has an algae called zooxanthal, which gives off the bright colors. When the algae are lost or destroyed due to an infection, the coral is now considered dead and bleached. This is a result of climate change. The rise in the temperature of the water has caused the bacteria to grow and flourish. The rise in the water temperature is the main explanation for the mass bleaching of coral throughout the globe. An article by NOAA, Coral Reef Conservation Program states, coral reefs are essential to healthy coasts and vibrant economies playing a crucial role in everything from protecting lives to supporting thousands of businesses. Groups and researchers and scientists wanted nothing more than to stop the spread of any more killing reef disease. A broadcast titled Battered by Bleaching Florida's Coral Reefs Now Face Mysterious Disease said after a long decline in Florida, coral reefs have been decimated, leaving too few species to successively reproduce and rebuild the population on their own. The bleaching cannot be fixed overnight. However, it is physically possible to grow coral reefs in lab to be later placed back into the environment. The only downside is the growing of coral is very slow. Scientists were able to manipulate the coral to be resistant to disease. Ocean acidification, runoffs, and sewage dumped into the ocean has also caused a decline in the number of coral reefs found in Florida. The production of carbon dioxide is not only affecting the atmosphere, but also our oceans. Ocean acidification has caused a shift in the pH levels in the ocean. Naturally, the ocean is slightly basic, but acidification has caused the water to be neutral. A film called Ocean Acidification, the Gl Big Global Warming Story, says our coral reefs will be lost if we do not reach reduce the rate at which we produce carbon dioxide. Sewage treatment plants need to do a better job in removing nitrogen and chemicals out of the water before it makes its way into the ocean. The scientist named Reeves state, the following raises the specter that, that untreated sewage dumped into the sea may be contributing to the coral loss. If something isn't done, bacteria will continue to grow, killing more and more coral reefs. The level of nitrogen and phosphorus found in the ocean play an important role. However, fertilizers and pesticides continually used to maintain golf courses and communities. Whenever it rains, those fertilizers and pesticides end up getting washed away into a nearby runoff. All of those harmful chemicals end up finding a way into the ocean. The scientists stated those increased nutrients in the water caused an algae bloom, which in return seemed to predict mass coral deaths. If not enough phosphorus is present in the water, coral will eventually die. There should be a stricter policy on how to handle those harmful chemicals. However, it, can, it would be safer using eco-friendly product or better ways for it to not to end up in the ocean. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation has done a great job to help preserve the coral reefs in our area. Their mission statement is to manage fish and wildlife resources for the long term, well-being and the benefit of the people. They have, to, they have set up multiple programs to help undo the damaging effects to the coral reefs. The placement of 
artificial reefs has helped significantly. However, the material for an artificial reef must be approved by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Florida Department of Environmental Protection in order to guarantee if it's safe or not for the environment. Scientists continue to study and come up with better alternatives to save our coral reefs. We need to start locally before we go globally. If we act now, it probably won't be too late.